Hi, this is Mr. Muller. Um, today we're going to talk briefly about uh, how to use the pottery wheel and the tools that you're going to be needing to have in front of you uh, to get started. Um, this is going to be the first episode in, in a series of video demonstrations to talk about how to use the pottery wheel and to throw a really basic cylinder. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about in this section is talking a little bit about how the wheel works, how it operates, how we take it apart, and the parts that make it up. So, let's first start with the wheel head. Um, the wheel head is going to be our throwing surface. Uh, however, on this wheel I have two of these small little pins. These are bat pins. Bat pins allow me to take a plastic bat and to put it right on top and to throw on that so that when I'm done I can easily remove it without having to worry about um, warping or deforming anything. So these are the particular bats that I would recommend using. There are two sets of drilling holes. These two that are a little bit closer to the center are not the ones we want to use. We want to use the ones that are farther out and are also um, labeled with these three little bumps on the side. So how I get this to stick on my two bat pins is I'm going to just place my fingers here and here and I'm going to place it right down on top and wiggle it back and forth until I feel them catch. Give it a light tap on both of the corners and as I can see it fits right inside of that outer concentric ring that's been engraved into the wheel head. So to clean this, um, this is your splash pan. Splash pan pretty much does its job. It prevents you from getting wet. So there are two pieces. This larger piece has a small little plastic ledge that fits underneath and will lock in place and prevent it from going further. This piece always goes in the back. Uh, this is your smaller piece and it's controlled with these small little tabs right here that you will push down to pop off and slide forward. Then that pretty much takes care of everything on the top. Now we're going to move down to the control box. These are some older models of control boxes, but pretty much the same thing as you'll see all the way throughout. All should have an on and off switch. Some may even have a directional switch to allow for right-handed or left-handed throwing on the same wheel. On this specific one, it has two switches, an on and off switch and a directional switch. And if you look below it, it says either reverse or forward. For forward, this is going in a direction that is counterclockwise. In reverse, this is going in a direction that's clockwise. To illustrate the directional uh, differences that the wheel has, um, I put just a one pound piece of clay in the center of the bat, and we're going to play around with the directional buttons on the bottom uh, near the controller. So, first things first is I'm going to switch the wheel on. I've started it in neutral position, which is right in between the forward and the reverse, just to show you one common problem. When I depress my wheel, or my pedal, my wheel should be going in one direction or the other, but it's not. It's on, it's just stuck in this neutral position, so double check if your wheel's not working, that's probably the number one reason why. So, we're going to flip this to the forward position. And when I depress my wheel, I'll see that my direction is spinning in a counterclockwise motion. This is the direction for most right-handed people. The last function of the wheel we're going to talk about is the pedal. Um, the pedal is going to control our speed throughout the process. And it works on a very simple principle. The more I push down, the faster this will go. It might help if I turn my wheel on. And had it in the forward position. So when I push down on my pedal, the wheel goes much faster. I want to be aware of this. I should never just push my pedal down and take my foot off. I always want to keep my foot on the pedal. So as I slow this down, it comes to a stop. And every wheel is different. Every pedal is different. So get to know your wheel. Uh, understand the uh, range of what it has. Some may be really slow. Some may be really fast. Find a speed that works for you. Happy throwing.